Rise and Shine is an action-adventure puzzle platformer game that was developed by a super awesome hyperdimensional mega team and published by Adult Swim Games. Now this game was announced in uh, December of 2016 and was slated to release for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The story revolves around a kid named Ryze who finds himself between a war against space grunts of next gen and the citizens of Game Earth. It's not too long after the intro that Ryze is introduced to Shine, a loudmouth gun who's the last hope for Game Earth. Previously wielded by the legendary warrior, he gets killed while saving Ryze but doesn't have infinite respawns. Which, ironically enough, the game touches on by breaking the fourth wall. I want to keep this review as spoiler free as possible so we'll touch on the story a little bit later. For now let's talk about how the game feels and plays. Gameplay Gameplay wise the shooting mechanics are pretty tight and responsive. You get various add-ons to shine as you progress through the game such as the RC add-on, explosive shots, and electric bullets. Now I did mention that this game is a platformer, however it closely resembles a dodging bullet hell side-scrolling adventure game. It's pretty late on the platforming overall for my liking, but the sections that do have platforming are definitely fun and memorable. Rise can perform both a double jump and dashes. I wish the game had more platforming and shooting sections because, honestly, they were the most fun and enjoyable parts of the game. Which brings me to my next point, the bosses. The boss fights in Rise and Shine are super intense and bullet hell dodging fun. You have to react quickly by shooting the enemy bullets and managing your add-ons accordingly. Boss fights can be punishing because of how easy Rise can die, but after being stuck on a boss for a while, the rewarding feeling of learning patterns and performing flawlessly makes you feel like a badass. So one gripe I had with Rise and Shine were the enemy types. You mostly only went to battle against flying robots and human grunts, with the occasional cameo appearance from zombies. As I said before, the boss fights were actually excellent sections between getting from point A to point B. Occasionally you would use Shine's add-ons to solve puzzles that took time to understand, but eventually become more obvious throughout the story. While the story was predictable, Rise and Shine's banter and the small cast of characters more than make up for it. There is nothing more predictable than a kid who finds an item that only he can use and has to save his planet. The writers use a generic story to set up a lot of great references to past games and takes a shot at stereotypical game design choices over the years, such as infinite respawns or playing minigames for rewards. Rise and Shine isn't the first game to break the fourth wall, but when it does, you can't help but smile at how ridiculous some of the situations in the game are. A game that can make fun of itself and not take itself too seriously is pretty enjoyable, in my opinion. The ending felt a little anticlimactic and predictable but still left me wanting more. According to my Steam in-game time, it took me a total of 4 hours to complete the game, which, for a $15 price tag, is a kind of a short experience. Overall, I really enjoyed the game. It had a great mix of bullet hell, side-scrolling action that was really fun to control and play. The references to past games that are so iconic today was a great nod by the developers and shows where the roots come from. I didn't touch on the music too much, however the main theme, combat music, and boss music were easy on the ears. The main theme is also catchy. Lastly, I love how the story was told in a comic book style with speech bubbles and lovely drawn characters and backgrounds. At $15, I think the game is too short for the amount of money asked. The only other replayability included in Rise and Shine is Iron Man mode and the collectibles. Anyways, thanks for watching folks. If this review helped you, please leave a like and share the video. Let me know if you'll pick up the game and if you enjoyed it in the comments. Thanks for watching.